today I'm talking about polo necks. So today I'm tackling polo necks in the spirit of out with the old, in with the new, because historically I have been quite anti-polo necks. I just, I just don't like them, I can't get with them. To me, one of my absolute obsessions with clothes is I hate clothes that make you fiddle with them. I hate anything that's making you kind of go like this and tug it down, I just think that's wrong. You want to put your clothes on and feel very kind of calm and serene and in control and clothes that make you feel a bit fidgety, not working. But anyway, I'm going to have another go. I'm going to wear polo necks and not fiddle with them. I've been inspired by this in tragic fashion capacity by Phoebe Philo's Celine show where she showed lots of um, polo necks under jackets and under tailored coats and it was all very sleek. It actually looked really amazing and made me think, oh, maybe I do want to wear a polo neck. That is how tragic I am. So here I am in a polo neck, not fidgeting. Uh, this one's by Marks and Spencers. The good thing about the polo neck trend is this really is a totally easy go and buy something on the high street, super cheap. It's really not something you need to spend a huge amount of money on. So as well as this Marks and Spencers one, we found some others, and they're all from your absolutely, as you, ex as you would expect, go to High Street Staples Uniqlo. Totally comes up trumps on the polo neck front. So we've got lots here, which I'll just whiz through. This one in uh, burgundy was personally the colour of my school uniform, so uh, not a favourite of mine, but I can see if it wasn't the colour of your school uniform, could be nice. This one here, quite nice, has a bit of texture, Uniqlo again, with this little sort of mini cable knit sort of thing going on underneath. This one here in a kind of quite pretty tealy blue, not sure, tealy bluey green, um, again from Uniqlo. And last Uniqlo one, this one here. I mean, I think there's a colour there that's going to work, whatever jacket you're going to wear it under. And then there's one more Marks and Spencers one here, which is this one, which is the charcoal version of the one I'm wearing. Um, one, one small styling tip about the polo neck. You kind of have to wear it at the moment like this, like kind of folded down. Like none of this, none of this kind of relaxed, scrunchy business. Uh -uh. Like if you're going to wear the polo neck in a fashion way, it needs to be like that, quite neat. The other people who are very into wearing um, polo necks under things as well as Phoebe Philo and Celine, are a lot of footballs, footballers in the Premiership, I've noticed, which is that sort of, you know, you sort of wear it under your football shirt, and I think it's actually becoming something that uh, people think looks okay because they see it on TV all the time. And this is the kind of polo neck they wear, that kind of thin cotton one. You can't obviously wear, like, a big ribbed polo neck under your, under your football kit. So these ones are from Gap, and if you just don't, if the whole woolly, itchy thing is just driving you mad, then this is another option, and they have them in a whole range of colours, like this one, kind of chocolatey, tobacco-y colour, and a kind of mushroom one here. And then lastly, just to give you a little get-out clause, in case you're thinking, yes, a polo neck, no to like, this business, um, you can obviously slightly do a fashion cop-out and go with a polo neck that's not your tight, sleek polo neck, and you're not going to get the fashion points for it. I'm not going to pretend you are, but it is quite nice, and that is a really lovely jumper, which you might want to buy instead.